Thoughts on health care and stepping into the fall, maintaining health in the coming seasons. Hey folks, I'm Dr. Jeff Williams with Creekstone Integrated Medical right here in Amarillo, Texas, and I'm coming to you again this week. I want to talk to you about coming, the, the coming changes in the seasons and, and how that can affect you and some thoughts on fighting back just a bit. Sadly, for many, the summer is coming to a close and the fall is beginning to descend upon us. I actually know many folks that get downright giddy at the thought of pumpkin spiced everything. Crackling fireplaces, chilly football games, and hot chocolate thermoses, and it getting dark at 5.30 in the afternoon. Then, for folks like me, whew, it's a time to just bide my time and, and pass through as I look forward to the spring when everything comes back to life. I am an admitted wintertime hater. Please, you winter lovers, don't hold it against me. I can't, I can't do anything about it. And while we can't do anything about the pumpkin spice addictions either, we do have plenty of thoughts centering on the, the upcoming fall and winter season, seasons. We're all different for a reason, right? And for different folks, there are different seasons. The fall and winter this year are full of all kinds of things to know about and to discuss. So let's start with the resurgence of COVID. Hey, we thought we were done with this terrible virus, but here we are again. Almost two years later, still in the battle. We want you to know that we are here to help get, get you tested if you need it. Here at Creekstone Integrated Medical, we offer curbside COVID testing. Our nurse practitioner simply comes out to your vehicle to test you and will return with your results within 15 minutes typically. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. The seasons are also marked by a significant increase in cold and flu and strep. And for that reason, our COVID testing will offer testing that includes not only COVID, but also flu A, flu B, as well as strep testing, all in one test. So uh, now you're not only finding out if you're COVID negative, but you're also hopefully getting an idea of what exactly the problem really is, instead of just what it is not, if that makes sense. Creekstone doesn't only offer testing, we also offer primary health care appointments to keep our patients medically on track with their health. There are certain mile markers all patients should be meeting. There's a certain age where we should all have a colonoscopy, where women should have a bone scan or a mammogram, where men uh, have their prostate checked and, and things of that nature. Having a primary practitioner, it helps make sure that you are meeting these mile markers. And now our nurse practitioner can assist you with them or any other general health care concerns that you might have. Fall can bring about a level of inactivity, wouldn't you agree? We're not outside quite as much in the fall and winter because obviously it's too cold. Plus, it gets dark early, so our opportunities to be outside and to be active, well, they become more limited. So we, we now offer IV therapy to replenish vitamins, boost immunity, and, and help you function optimally. Be sure to read our uh, blog and IV menu on our website at creekstonecare.com. Just go to the blog and go down to where it's talking about IV stuff. Plus, I'll leave the link right here on your screen. Now, another thing the fall brings about is school. The kids going back to school means they're going to be playing sports. And whether we like it or not, sports for some little athletes means injuries. And that's where Creekstone can play a big part. Not only am I the only chiropractic orthopedic fellowship uh, trained chiropractor in West Texas and fully capable of handling most non-complicated injuries, but we also offer medical services and evaluation so that we can comprehensively treat the injured athlete with robust and responsible treatment and recommendations. In fact, I'll tell you a real quick story. Just the other day, an injured athlete came in to us after hurting his knee in football. It's from a big, big high school, 5A high school. Right? The, the high school's trainer told him that he needed to make an appointment with a surgeon as soon as possible. Just go straight to the surgeon. Instead, his mother made a, what I think was a wise decision and brought him to Creekstone. 
Our nurse practitioner evaluated him first, then called me in the room to check him over. Uh, between the two of us, after a proper orthopedic exam, we agreed that this kid just had a simple sprain and did not need to be seeing a surgeon for this injury. And sure enough, on his one week follow-up, he's back to jogging and making cuts on the field with, with no issues. And most importantly, no surgeries. And not only can we help with injuries like, like we're talking about right here with this kid, but we can also help with sore necks and backs. And when appropriate, our nurse practitioner can provide trigger point injections uh, for pesky areas that just need a little extra help or um, you know, muscle relaxers, something like that. And when you have treatment coming from all different directions, like we provide here at Creekstone, well then you're getting broad management. And this means you're getting results. Fall and back to school also mean that those kids are carrying overloaded backpacks and they're not carrying them properly usually. They're especially overloaded in the days of COVID because they, the kids don't have lockers at school anymore. Everything that they have to carry for the entire day is getting piled into the backpack and lugged around the whole day long on young, still developing backs. That's not a good recipe for a healthy back or neck. I think you'll agree. Kids suffer pain too, and we don't think about that. But kids do suffer as well. It's not just an old age people, you know, an old people thing. So pay attention to those kiddos and bring them into Creekstone if they're demonstrating any symptoms of discomfort or pain. I'm going to put another link here for an article we did, creekstonecare.com. Go to the blog section uh, and just a few uh, blogs back you'll see a, an article on the proper use of backpacks and signs and symptoms that there may be issues in your kiddo uh, from doing it incorrectly. Now, increased sports in the fall also means sitting on the benches. Parents, you know what I'm talking about here. Sore backs um, or backs that have a tendency to be just a bit temperamental, they do not like sitting. And not only do they not like sitting for very long, but they really don't like sitting on hard benches in the stands with no support for our backs. How miserable, right? The first thought on this is that backs that hate sitting down, can that can be a sign of underlying disc issues in the low back. Don't let yourself get worked up about that information though, because almost all of us beyond a certain age have disc issues. It's just normal. The good news is that fussy low backs and disc issues, they really like walking. We tell patients going on long trips, you know, they're having back pain, they got this long trip ahead of them. When we say stop every 45 or 50 minutes or so, get out and walk around for about five minutes. Um, so I would say the same thing for those sitting in benches at their children's games. Just stand up and walk around for about five minutes. See how you feel. You're going to want to walk around, not just stand up though, because if you stand still, the folks behind you at the game, they're going to get a lot fussier than your low back is. But if your back just isn't allowing you to enjoy your children's games, come see us here at Creekstone. We have lots of answers for you. We've got everything that you need. Medical services, chiropractic, targeted exercise specific to your issue, spinal decompression, cold laser, massage, acupuncture, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. So this is the place. Now thinking a little bit further down the road, winter. Winter will typically bring some uh, snow shoveling into our futures, right? I want you to, also I've got a blog on this. I'm, I've been thinking about this stuff for a while, you know. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link here for uh, proper snow shoveling here, okay? But uh, keep an eye on it because I'm gonna post another one when it comes time. But with all of the healthcare options we have available here at Creekstone, we can help set you up for success and keep you there throughout the fall and winter this year. If you're from the Amarillo area or you're going to be traveling through and you need to be seen, call us at 806-355-3000. Let's get you on our schedule. We're happy to help you. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, comment, and share. If you're on Facebook, like, comment, and share. That's how the world goes around. We love to hear your feedback, and I know there are people in your network that would love to know about this information and the, and the other information that we share each and every single week. We appreciate your help. Until next week, take care. Stay safe.